let's dive into hormones. So hormones are vitally important. So the first thing is if we consume too much carbs or too much refined sugar, insulin resistance is going to be a key, key problem with hair issues. So one of the first things insulin is going to do is you're going to be depleting more minerals that run your energy cycles, your Krebs cycle, your mitochondria when your blood sugar is higher. Because that Krebs cycle then has to run and it requires amino acids, magnesium, minerals to help run it. So that's number one. So you're going to deplete a lot of those nutrients when you eat more sugar. So then it's like using a credit card, but you don't pay the bill. So then your next month's bill is higher because of the interest you have to pay. It's kind of like that. And so when you have a high levels of insulin, certain enzymes are going to be upregulated. So as a guy, you're going to upregulate an enzyme called aromatase. And that enzyme will cause problems with your testosterone, having it convert downstream to estrogen. And when estrogen goes downstream, you start to upregulate enzymes called 5-alpha dehydrox, uh, 5-alpha, 5-alpha uh, dihydrotestosterone. So the 5-alpha reductase is the enzyme. And that enzyme is important from testosterone going to testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. So dihydrotestosterone is the stronger testosterone and that can is associated with causing hair loss okay that's what a lot of these medications the um finasterides they block that enzyme the 5 alpha reductase enzyme they block it now there are natural things that block it too really important ones are zinc and selenium also are natural 5 alpha reductase inhibitors so what happens is this here's the mechanism we have high levels of insulin we too much carbs too much sugar that high level of insulin starts to upregulate aromatase. Aromatase causes testosterone to start going to estrogen. As testosterone goes to estrogen, testosterone starts to drop and our body starts freaking out and it makes this stronger testosterone called dihydrotestosterone, DHT for short, DHT starts going up. And the enzyme that goes from testosterone to DHT is the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. And as your diet becomes poor and nutrients drop, the minerals that help regulate that enzyme, selenium and zinc, start going low, which starts to increase a DHT more. So you can see low selenium, low zinc, more, right? More dihydrotestosterone as those minerals are the break that prevents that DHT or dihydrotestosterone from going up. And that DHT is associated <clears throat> with decreasing blood flow to the hair follicles. So insulin is a big, big component with raising DHT, raising estrogen in men, and lowering testosterone. So that's one component there. Um, you're also going to see it in women as well. You'll see it with testosterone, you're actually gonna see different things. You'll see ovarian cysts start to form in women and you'll start seeing more hair growth and you can start seeing hair loss on the head. When you start having excess cortisol surges, especially in women and in men, you can start losing hair there as well. So you can see it with high cortisol, you can see it with high insulin and then high insulin in women increases testosterone, high insulin in men, decreases testosterone and increases DHT. So the, there, it's a little bit switched for men and women. So I know it's hard to kind of wrap your head around that. So you may have to listen to it twice. So I'll say it one more time. Women, high levels of insulin, increased testosterone, increased cortisol, hair loss from the high cortisol. Men, increase insulin. You're gonna have increase in aromatase. Aromatase is gonna decrease testosterone, increase estrogen, and then DHT, the stronger testosterone starts to go up, that pinches blood flow off to the hair follicles, hair loss start to occur. So that's one major mechanism. Well said, that was very, very clear. Crazy how you would think, oh, this high fructose corn syrup soda, you know, this is just bad because it's sugar, but you don't think, wow, I could be messing up my hair by drinking a soda.